Her oxygen level was at 80%. She was laying on Evan's chest like perfectly fine in a great position. I picked her up and I was just like freaking out and it was like white and stuff. And I was like, oh no, what do we do? Like we've never been in a situation like this before. Okay, so we just had probably the scariest thing that ever happened in our lives. Um, I feel like I've cried all my tears. We're freaking out a little bit, but everything's just a, a calm down a little bit. And uh, we thought we'd get everybody an update. So we've been staying in the house for the virus and everything going on right now. Just trying to stay safe and not expose other people or us get exposed. This morning we woke up. Everything was cool. She was fine. A little backstory was, you know, from the last video that we went to the hospital for me and then she ended up having to go to the hospital for her breathing. They took a whole lot of tests. They said her EKG levels were a little whacked up. And so they sent us to a follow-up appointment with the heart doctor. We went to that appointment. We didn't end up vlogging it just because, I don't know, everything was just kind of dramatic and stressful in the moment. So um, we went there and we found out that she had a hole in her heart and that could be a lot of the cause of it, um, that her levels were whacked up. But they said they just wanted to keep an eye on it and follow up later and just, you know, they gave us a list of, list of things. Oh, it's okay. Fast forward to today. In the past, she's had a f like few stares. So normally, when she's eating, sometimes it'll uh, be hard to catch her Harder breath. But her that's kind of normal because she was time. a preemie. But today, we were just chilling around the house. We worked out this morning. Everything was okay. So we sat down. We ate lunch, and we were gonna watch a TV show. We sat down, and that's when it got kind of freaky because. Uh, after we found out about her heart, we ordered a sock monitor called like the Owlet, and it's like monitors her O2 levels and beats per minute. And yeah, so like it alarms you if it's you know her oxygen levels are bad and yada yada. So all of a sudden, her monitors started going like crazy off, beeping red. First time it's ever gone beeping red and gone down that And low. it said that her oxygen level was at 80%. She was laying on Evan's chest like perfectly fine in a great position. And so we let, I picked her up and I was just like freaking out. And um, it was like white and stuff. And I was like, oh no, what do we do? Like we've never been in a situation like this before. And so we got on the phone, we called, I called my mom because I'm as like, I'm, what am I supposed to as do? As I'm getting ready, like, um, in We're case like we do to need to take clothes, her. Like, we got to get to the emergency room, what do we do? And mom's like, call 911. So she calls 911. My sister actually lives like a mile down the street. So she rushed over here. By the time she got here, her she was kind of like still lethargic and stuff, but she was kind of back um, turning pink. And so she was holding her for us while the ambulance came. I was trying to calm myself <laughs> because everything was kind of like in a moment. I feel like our whole world was about to like turn upside down. But they got here and they checked her out, which she was doing a ton better. Her levels were back up. Her oxygen level was at 80% for about nine minutes. By the time they got here, her but they started wanted, going back up. Yeah, they went back up, then to 99, then to 100. By the time the ambulance got here, her levels had gone back up. Um, so when they came in, they checked her out, listened to her lungs and everything. They said she seemed fine. And with the viruses going around and everything, they were almost saying maybe it's not best to take her to the ER now that she seems fine. But they said you should call your doctor and get their opinion. Just with the virus going on, everything's so scary because if we did take her in and then she catches that or something else happens. It could be like, even worse. So we're just kind of like praying, like what should we do? So we called our pediatrician and we talked to her and they were like, well, you should probably bring her in. Um, but they didn't want to bring her in tonight because they've had a lot of sick patients in already. And so they didn't want her to catch anything else since she is still under two months. So they booked her for the first appointment in the morning. And they just said to keep a really good eye on her. If it goes back down in her levels and she gets like that or she's super lethargic and whatnot, 
that to call 911, take her in immediately because they said there's definitely got to be a reason if it does happen again. We just don't know like what or if it's just with her heart. Anyways, so that's a little update on our family right now and our little self-quarantine <laughs> life that we're here. I don't know. It's just so scary. I it's feel just like scary it really when you don't. You... It's scary when you don't know what to do. Um, because if she would have stopped breathing, I wouldn't. I don't. I mean, you can try CPR, but it's just. I feel like in a flash do. you realize how You're... fragile life is, and knowing in all of that, like not to fear, because I know people go through like serious situations all the time, and actually things bad really do happen, and I'm like, just to trust and know that like God's in control, and. Like, even with what's going on in our world right now, like, I feel like he's, like, our, our hope through all of this. He's the only way we can And if we through. keep our focus on that, but I literally just feel like my life was seconds away from being turned upside down. It makes you realize and treasure what you do have and to not take that for granted, even the little things. And my family, yeah, my mom right had texted here. out a group text in this verse. Um, um, Isaiah forty one ten. Texted out. He said, uh, "Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand." I just felt like that was so powerful and meaningful when you're experiencing something like this. And if any of you guys are watching that have been through, I mean, situations like this, or even just everything, the self quarantine and what's happening right now. Just stepping back and taking a breath and know that God's watching over all of us, keeping us safe. And we're just so thankful that it wasn't anything and she's okay right now. And just really praying that everything will go as planned and hopefully nothing will happen and she'll get checked out tomorrow and everything will be okay. We'll let you guys follow along for tomorrow and see what happens then at her checkup and if they find anything. If not, they said with the hole in her heart, it is smaller and they said it is common, but it's something like they have to keep an eye on and see if they want to do something later. And if not, like, I don't know. I feel like I'm just rambling because I'm so... <laughs> like I'm so you shook don't know up. What to say or what to do. <laughs> I mean, it's so scary when I was literally just holding her like this, and I'm like, knowing that she could stop breathing. Me? Like, I mean, we didn't know. It was freaking me out. So, I'm just trying to like stay calm. Evan's like so much more calm. I'm calm in this situation, this situation than because me, I just. I'm don't... like. I can feel like a house right now. It's I just don't degrees. know what to do. I'm trying to just think, how can we fix this? What can we do? So I'm more calm in the situation, but... She's so little and like, I, you just don't know what's happening. I'm just going to keep praying, keep a really good eye on her through the night. I feel like I'm not going to sleep tonight. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. But, and then we'll see what happens tomorrow, I guess. Just keep praying. Okay, so it's the next morning. Uh, we are on the way to her follow-up appointment. Last night, we kept a really close eye on her. She seemed to be fine. She didn't have any oxygen levels drop through the night. Normal. She seemed like completely okay. So it was just like this weird, just random thing. Evan stayed up with her till like four in the morning. Yeah, he's pretty tired. <laughs> Cause it's really early this morning and they wanted us to be like the first patients in so there wasn't other sick patients in just with everything going on hopefully they'll figure out like what was going on because I, I, I don't even know like it was probably it was the scariest thing few, we've ever went through it was just those few minutes of that scary instance and ever since then she's been back to normal so I just don't I don't know I feel like this morning we like slept in like I don't know, kind of getting back together and trying to like contemplate everything that went on because we were just so flustered yesterday and so like torn out of the frame because we've never like experienced anything like that before. Scary, scary stuff. So I just hope they like figure out what's going on and if something is wrong, like they figure out what it is and we can get it taken care of. Or if it's just her heart and that's what's and causing it. We just have it. to live every day and nurse. Yeah, so we just no, have to like. just trust God. But but it's scary. at least we'll have like something to pinpoint it and make sure that it's nothing else that's going on. We probably can't film too much in there, but we'll try and update you when we get out, if not in there. You want me to get her? Nope. You Told you, she's got that weird fetish, wanting to carry her. Until she gets like 20 pounds, and I'm like, <laughs> take her. 
All right, quick update. She weighs almost 10 pounds, a little bit chunky. Yeah, say not quite. Okay, 9.79 to be exact. Almost 10 pounds. I don't want my baby to grow up. <laughs> She's so cute. But they checked her oxygen level. Checked her it vitals. was good here too. Um, she her listened to her. Good. So they're gonna send the doctor in here in a few minutes, and we'll see what the doctor has to say. Right now, right now. See what the girl you okay? like now. All right, we are done with the doctor's appointment. Babe, you want to tell him? It looks like all of her like things came back fine. Her vitals, she was back breathing fine. Had no temperature. She does have a lot of like acid reflux and stuff. Um, or that they think. They think that could be part of it. That could be part of it mixed with like, of course, her heart being weaker, I guess. I don't know. But they're just kind of like keeping an eye on it. If that happens again, take her to Children's Hospital. But it's just one of those things that, I don't know, maybe it, scary time, scary moment, like for the both of us. Yeah. But they don't see any like actual really bad sign of like, okay, she needs We know it's or this, this or, or with, this yeah. or with that. Um, so they're going to put her on some acid reflux medicine um, for like her choking and stuff. And we're just going to like Wait play this whole see. parenting thing by ear. Yeah, so that's a little update on Miss Layla Ray. Thanks for watching. I guess we're going to end this vlog right now. Go home and yeah. keep a close eye Take on her. Take care of her. So we hope everybody has an awesome week. We're saying a prayer for you. And yeah, we'll see you next week.